Alright, so today is January 8th, part 2 of the fixing of the 982. Let's go show you what we're up for today. I put in my glove because it is cold. Probably a quarter inch or so already. It's coming down pretty good. So, so I've already been up here and worked on or tinkered with it for a minute. But first look, this tire went down again, but stayed on the bead. That's good. Not good that it's coming down. Good that it stayed on the bead because that's a pain in the butt when that comes off. Hopefully, the bolts go one. Put that in the pocket. Do I'm gonna see if we get this thing to at least crank today? So I'm gonna be taking the plugs out of it. Fine, I'm gonna be right in here. So we're taking those out. See if we get to turn over. And then that would be probably the best if I get that going. At least some life. I know the lights work and I had that battery charger, so let's see if we can get anything in. The plugs should be all loose now. Let's probably just take them out and turn the snow off of them. That one's got oil on it. Probably not a good thing. But we will see. Because the oil doesn't get high. So. so, in that plug, let's see if it will turn over. Black clutch down as we see. That's a good sign. Okay. Let's see if we got a spark. Put the plugs on. Touch the block with them. So somehow there's no spark. Starting to sound less and like less and less like it ran just a few weeks ago, as we said. I'm guessing there's going to be points on it somewhere and cannot locate those yet. To dig into it more. See if I can't pop in the shed for a little bit maybe. So I can be cold but at least not be snowed on. That just like makes it double worse. <laughs> Inside, there won't be any breeze. Nice looking machine, though. I'm liking it so far. Very nice if it was running. Clean up in here. It's a disaster. Ooh, maybe I do not want to clean that one off. Okay. Well, I guess what I could do is quickly see if we can't get this thing going because it's a stupid snowblower on the front. So I can't just roll it out. Let's see if we can get this thing running. First, let's go and open this all up because I broke the choke cable yesterday. Well, since it's winter and there's no dust or anything, just snow and it doesn't have side panels on. Just took the whole air cleaner assembly off. This is getting cut or 
caught up in there because that's probably bent like that, like I just did there. It's really hard because there's too much of a sharp bend in there. Alright, let's put this thing back together. Plus this one because she doesn't like me, actually she tends to run better without a uh, car or an air cleaner on it. When I got it, didn't have one. Ran beautiful. Put it on. Didn't want to run at all. It looks like it stopped snowing, but too late. I'm already bringing it here. Make a spot and find where we're going to put this at. Sorry. Since we're snowed in so heavily right now. Oops. It's snowed in. There's no room to park anything. I'm gonna have to chip that bank out a little bit there. Cause that one's as far as that'll go. Hmm. Gotta get that building done. It's supposed to warm up this week, so hopefully we'll be able to do that. Let me grab some gloves. Chip that back a little bit. There we are. Let's see why it wouldn't fit here. Let's move it. Let's press the fingers that it'll actually start. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get this one going first. Make sure it's running, because I know this will start. I uh, doubt about that one. It's usually quite grumpy. Oh, and there's more. Yeah, starting flow, just to give it a little go juice kind of thing. And the can is really good. size difference in this thing between it makes this thing look like tiny <laughs> and it's much it's probably like four inches taller oh just the hood of the grill it's hard to justify just how big it is it's like a almost a small like farm tractor pretty much Things you could do. You can only get in a cat O or a cat zero, depending on what you want to say on the back. So your tail lights do work. And it does turn over now. So that was earlier, probably about an hour or so ago. Um, had it turning over and it's got hot spark now. Clean the points and a couple wire connections, and now it is. Good in that aspect. The carb looks pretty clean just from looking down the throat of it. Hopefully that won't be a problem. But I did put some starter fluid down there and did not want to start or kick over anything yet. But I'm going to get new plugs for it because they seem to be fouled up a little bit. 
And then I think what's today? I don't know. So then hopefully tomorrow it should be running, I'm hoping. Cross my fingers here. Um probably would be somewhat wise to drain the old fuel out of it. It's not too old. Got a probably quarter tank of gas, so it's about a gallon of gas left in it or so. Needles like yeah, like full three quarters, half quarter, and yeah, it's like a gallon of gas. It's a four gallon gas tank in it. No break. Right. Left. And when you press the thing for a minute. first view on it for you guys, anyways, when you press the clutch pedal, it brings that brake in, and then just for the sake of it, I tend to just put that pedal down too for starting it. But you can I don't go here. But put your little locker over. When you press the clutch in, it brings both the brakes down. I mean, this thing's a huge. I'm most surprised that as such a big tractor, it turns. Here, I'll use my pinky for you. No other hand. It turns so easy. And tight, too. Look at that. Go back the other way. Hey, just a pinky. It just turns that easy. <laughs> I can't believe. I mean, all the other cubs are like, you really gotta yank on them. But this thing just it spins like a dream. You can spin it on the palm of your hand and all that. So it's gonna be a fun tractor once it's all ready to go. Look at that decal, that's a good thing. That is sweet. Now I got, I think I said that yesterday. The hydraulic valve, but the, for the dual spool stuff at the moment. Same thing as the 1650, just nobody really has those power angle blades, so the ports don't get used, or nor does the spool valve. So anyways, I gotta pull this back out because we have a very unhappy 125 sitting outside. Is this? I call it garbage room. It's all original, but it looks pretty, except for the seat. That's the wrong seat, but it's comfortable, so I'll, I'll keep it. But it's just something. Once the motor is running, it runs like a dream. It runs brand new. But just starting it, it like really doesn't want to start. But if it did start, I'm going to pull that out. 982 would have got a new home inside for a while. Backed up like it is, like that one is. And the 125 in the front. And until we get that tarp building up, can't pull the 104 out and move this one back. So, just have to switch them, which is hard because the non-running tractor in it is very heavy. <laughs> And you can't get a tractor on the floor, you just slide when you're trying to pull anything. I like individual brakes. <laughs> it's fun. So, yeah, hopefully this thing will be up and going tomorrow. Cross my fingers again.
125 is happy now. She needs to stay inside again once more. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm going to try to get this thing out of here. I got it on charge. So the battery should be charged up. And just before I get ready to start it, I'll put it on again just to get the battery warm. I'll use some starting fluid and hopefully it'll start. That's the 982 out there now. I mean, that thing's heavy when it's not running. How to push it back. Let's see that. You can't. It's like a longer spot next to a couple of footprints. Is that's where I was trying to push it from. Kept losing traction, but got it moved. And that's out there. Hopefully, eventually, it could end up in here or in a shelter of some sorts.